So as you see here, we have the standard PVS-14 and then the Nocturne Industries UAN-VM. So the difference between these two is the PVS-14, standard PVS-14, has a turn knob capability and manual gain. You'll see the bulkiness difference between here as well, that the device is actually right around a, probably about a quarter to a half an inch shorter. But they also differ in weight by quite a bit. Your standard PVS-14 weighs right around 12.6 ounces and the UAN-VM weighs right at 7.7 .7 ounces with RPO optics. The main difference between these two is you'll see down here you have a manual gain knob that is just like your brightness like on your cell phone. You'll manually turn it up and manually turn it down to get it to your acquired setting. And then up here is your power of operation. You're going to turn the knob to turn it on and then you're going to pull up and over to turn on your IR light. With the UAN-VM, the reason why it's so lightweight is because it eliminates quite a few of these and then also the housing is made out of a polymer. So you're eliminating the onboard illuminator and the manual gain, but the benefits of this device is that it has a 10160 intensifier. The difference between the intensifier that's in your standard PVS-14 and the intensifier that is inside this device is one has manual gain, which is manual brightness, and the other one has an auto brightness, just like your cell phone. Depending on your ambient conditions, your brightness is going to go up and down. Uh, depending on different applications, some people find manual gain more superior and some people find auto gain more superior. So this is a good example. So as I'm looking towards the bright light, you can notice that these images off to the side are a little bit darker, and as I pan over, they're going to get a lot brighter. And that's because the that's because the auto gain feature, like I mentioned, with these auto lights on once they kick on. The light kicks on, the device is gonna start auto gaining, which the device physically turns on and off. As you can see with the light turning on, this device is gonna auto gate. What that means is the device turns on and off thousands of times per second, your eye can't see it, but the device turns on and off to reduce bloom and to reduce damage to the device. But as I'm, I'm going to try to demonstrate the 10160 auto gain feature. As you can see, as I cross over the bright light, you're going to notice these images over here are going to dim down. And then as I angle back over towards them, the device is actually going to automatically brighten back up. I find this very important, especially if you're law enforcement or if you're doing anything with a rifle in your hand, because if you had manual gain, you'd have to physically adjust those with the turn knob. So what I'm hearing is this one that is more automatic, it's more user friendly to the end user. So if I read the manual, I'm going to be able to use this one a little easier than using this one, because this is a bunch of adjustments this and has, this one does it for you correct so this one has turn knobs and stuff like that it's gonna take a little bit getting used to this thing is so simple it is literally just a push button design you're literally going to push the button on the device is going to be on you're going to push it to turn it off uh, when you're trying to focus your night vision device you're going to focus your objective first to kind of get the image and pan get it somewhat clear and then you're going to adjust your you're going to adjust your ocular and that's going to clear out your image Hey, thanks for watching Free Field Training on YouTube. And while you're here, why don't you check out some of these other goofy videos that I've made. Or you could subscribe or maybe go over to Patreon and see how you can get your name put on the videos like these fine folks over here. All the links are, of course, down in the description. We'll see you guys next time.